Here I am going to install a power play lighting kit into a drop pod. Here's the one that I've already completed. You can see that we have uh, lights on the inside of the doors, lights showing through the windows. Uh, we have a little landing light. We have an interior light. And there is also a spotlight on the bottom as well as an on-off switch. All the doors open and are magnetized as well as magnetized weapons. Okay, so here's the other drop pod I'm working on. I've already finished all the uh, Dremel work and trimming and I've actually taped them up and ready for the base coat, primer coat. You can see that for the exterior doors I've used the Dremel tool to relieve the back of the door, create a little wire channel right here. This area here is where the LED will actually go. Also a small relief on the bottom there. For these we just simply deburred them, removed all the edges, uh, taped the areas that are going to get glued. On one of them, trimming the bottom a little short, that's to make way for the landing light. Nothing special on these pieces. On the base here, hole through the center for the uh, bottom light, uh, hole for the switch. Uh, where the switch went through, I did relieve uh, the bottom of the thruster a bit. Also on one outside corner here, there it is, uh, there's a small hole. Uh, used an eighth inch drill for those and used a 730 seconds, I think it is. 730 seconds for the larger holes. The one for the wire pass through here. Uh, sorry, wire pass through over here. I used a quarter inch. Here on the center piece, glued it all together. Uh, not worried about this piece spinning because I just use a magnet on the bottom to mount and uh, exchange weapons. For the interior door, again, wire channel, small relief on the bottom for the wire to come out. And the two halves come together. You can see that the drilled hole is below. Get those lined up. There we go. Is below the window area. And that's it for the prep. We're ready to start the assembly of the lighted drop pod. See, I've primed everything, pulled the uh, masking tape off, and we have marked the spot to match up with the drill hole there. That's where the LED light is going to go. Have our lights plugged in, getting tested. You can use two orange strands, one teal strand, and one of the six millimeter yellow strands from Powered Play Gaming. And I have went ahead and installed the first light in the first outer door. So you can see that I've centered the LED on the uh, on the circle on the door and then used some crazy glue to hold the wire in place. Okay, I'm just going to repeat that for the next four doors. Uh, two of them, excuse me, three of them will be orange and two will be blue. We finished gluing in the LEDs and all the outsides of the doors. Uh, you can see right here is where the wire is actually glued down. Uh, we centered the LED on the blue circle and then the last bit is to just put a little bend uh, in the end uh, right under the wire. That's so when the door fits on. 
the light will shine partially through there and then partially through there. Uh, once the door halves are together, I'll actually adjust the angle of the light so that it's pretty much splitting uh, between half of the light coming up out the top and half the light going inside. In addition, taken the deck of the hull here and threaded the wire battery through the quarter inch hole that we drilled there. I've also installed the switch. Uh, the switch is just glued in place. You can see that I took the wires and bent those over so it'll all fit together and just generally centered it in the hole that we cut in the bottom there. <clears throat> Time to glue the two halves of the door together. We've already installed the wire. Go ahead and test fit a piece and again at this point go ahead and bend the LED so that it's on center and adjust the height so that it's just about half so it's basically pointed directly at the wall or floor here of the door. Okay, So a little bit of a tricky bit here is we have to make sure our hot glue gun is ready to go as well as uh, our model glue because we're going to put our cement on and then we're going to put some hot glue on and then try to get all that together without making too much of a mess or uh, any other problems. So let me see here. We'll fit the pieces together. See where we need to get the glue. Sure. Well, you can see that on the camera, but trust me, it's a nice little bubble right here and just a small protrusion. Okay, first one done. Just have uh, four more of those to complete, just like that. And we'll while the this. doors here are cooling off and uh, the glue's hardening, I'm going to go ahead and install the last, or two more of the lights, I should say, uh, right here. I'm going to take this one. Now, the tricky bit on this one is that uh, if we push the light all the way in, it actually sticks out beyond the base, and then <laughs> It would be just you know, spinning on that. We don't want that. Well, unless that is what you want, is a spinning drop pod. A little top. Confuse your enemies while the lights spin around. Anyways, there we are. Just going to hold, set the base down. I'm holding the light uh, approximately straight up and down. And I'm just going to throw a nice glob of the hot melt glue around that. Hold it in. And so while that continues to cool, we'll go ahead and set up the other one. Now this one we are going to push all the way through, so just get that in place. Again, a nice dollop of the hot melt glue to hold it in place. Again, helps with a little internal glow effect. Just going to fill up the little pocket there. And make sure this one's staying straight, looking pretty good. And we'll just hold those for a few minutes. And the last piece we're going to glue in is this light here. So we'll bring that in. We drilled this hole at a slight angle so the light can point just a little bit downward. Not much. Oops. Careful not to disturb our other stuff that's drying. There we go. And put a little dollop of glue in again. And that's good to go. Okay, from here, I'm just going to go ahead and leave everything in place for uh, you know, a good half hour or so. So uh, let all the glue cool off completely. Let the cement harden in the doors or at least set pretty well. And then we'll come back and glue the base and deck together. Okay, we waited about a half hour for everything to cool down, and now we're ready to test the LEDs. Get the hot melt glue gun out of the way. And so I've plugged in all of the lights into the little circuit board here, and I've connected a battery. And everything seems to be working. Got our light in the bottom, got our light for the deck, got a little landing light, and of course, the lights in all of our doors 
Up just nice. There we go. Looking good. Looking good. Okay, the next part is we're going to put the uh, circuit board in. Go ahead and disconnect all these wires for a second. And there we are. Everything in position. This is where we're going to attach the board. First, we're going to plug in plug all in our lights. The board. And we can go ahead and put that board where it's going to belong, which is just about right there. You can see that I uh, have it just below the hole. The wire for the battery has nice, easy access. And let's go ahead and glue that in place. A rubberized crazy glue I'm using here. Really don't want it to ever come apart, so I'm pretty generous with the glue to keep it in place. So we've got that nicely in place. That's not going anywhere. Now, of course, let's go ahead and give everything a test fit. So I actually finished uh, building this thing, uh, building the base here, and when I went to check the video, my cell phone had ran out of memory, so went and got my digital camera, had to disassemble the base here, uh, just break it apart, and uh, then uh, let it dry, clean it back up, and I'm going to go ahead and reassemble it. So uh, just to follow those steps, disconnect the battery here, there's the other drop pod in the background, my finished one, my prototype. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to go ahead and rotate these around, twist that up, get a nice little bundle of wires. Uh, it's pretty easy for me to do this time, obviously, because I'm uh, redoing it. And so the wires are actually already twisted, but you just got to carefully put them together. Now, you don't want them to go too tight at the bottom here. You want to make sure there's still enough wire hanging out for these things to easily move. Oops easily move up and down. That's not too bad. Actually, with a little less tension over here. So I'm going to pull that up. See if I can get a better wind in there. We'll start over here. Okay. Seems like that's a pretty good fit. Let's see, you got the hole opposite the switch. That's what I want. And so that looks like it's going to be a winner. So here we go. Now making sure to stay right in the center here because we don't want to get any, any glue here. That's why I'm using the gel also just to hold it together. Again, this is just kind of a, a tack, so just a little squeeze of glue right down the center. There we go. go. And recap our glue. Use an instant uh, hardener here. The glue. Good. Doesn't seem to affect the LEDs. Uh, I do let it evaporate. I don't want to turn them on while they're wet, but other than that seems pretty good. There we go. And again, that's just really to tack it all together. It'll be these that provide the strength for okay. the for the final assembly of our drop pod. Of course, the rest of this is uh, just the normal drop pod uh, assembly that we would expect. So. Here. This is on. I've decided to go with the uh, little circles going up. And let's see, get that on there, line up that little hole. Uh, these things don't have a lot of play, so we should put them in place. Pretty good. Uh, I still would want to use crazy glue here, though, because um, 
you do want to have a little bit of movement on these things when you finally position the uh, the fins here. And again, we have four of these are the same, and one we've trimmed the bottom so that it doesn't interfere with the uh, light here. Okay, so the next piece. Put some glue on the bottom. There we go. And of course, a little glue there. And just a little bit on the sides. Not too much. We don't want that squeezing out all over. Okay. And let's go ahead and glue up the rest. Again, a nice amount of glue here. This is a pretty important structural joint here. So that's that good. And of course, we let the glue sit on the plastic for just you know a few seconds while we glue the rest. And that actually lets it soften up. So that we get a good strong joint when we press these together. Again, a little bit of glue on the side, not too much. And now it's time for the final assembly. Let's go ahead and put these in. Get a couple of these started. There we go. Nice. And get one over here. There we go. Now we can get this piece in. There we go. And on this side. Ah, there we go. Nice. Okay, the rest of them go in pretty easy. And got that good working time from the model cement. Everything in place. And of course, close the doors to make sure that it's all centered. And just kind of hold it tight, press it all together, and there you go. Get some rub And here we have the finished uh, drop pod. Uh, at least it's held together for gluing. Uh, a piece of foam, they're going to hold the doors closed. And, of course, two nice flat rubber bands. I think these came off some uh, broccoli or something like that. Asparagus. And uh, there we go. Uh, of course, going around the bottom, making sure to press those in all nice and tight. Uh, good joints on the bottom. Uh, make sure we're pressed in all the way on the top. Uh, look at the top, make sure the spacing looks nice and even. Uh, one of the details is to go through uh, the rubber band and just kind of adjust its tension, uh, looking at the gap on either side of the door, making sure that the fin is straight and centered, so you can use the rubber band to pull it to where it's not touching either side, that way your doors will open easily later. And of course one of the other tricks was that during uh, assembly, uh, down here on the bottom, uh, I went ahead and cut away some material uh, prior to assembly off of the door itself. Uh, in fact, when you first get it, there's a um, uh, almost like a diamond shape, you know, kind of this bevel edge like you have here, and I just cut that all the way flat, all the way across, and that seems to provide the, uh, the clearance needed to make this work. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, one uh, finished drop pod, and uh, it just needs to sit for few hours while the glue hardens, but other than that, it is ready to go. Uh, thank you very much for watching.